Uh, yeah. That's a, a okay. shell. You have a tiny snail. Right, a tiny snail. I found it. You found it. Good, good job. Do you want to go put it somewhere? Wait. Yeah. Go, go put it where the pond used to be. That doesn't exist anymore. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. As I am recording this, it is day four without power in South Carolina, courtesy of Hurricane Helene. You can see some of the fallen trees behind me. These are excellent giant tree stumps. Hopefully we will have power back by Friday or next Tuesday at the latest, fingers crossed. Not sure what order things are going to put out as far as a couple of videos that I've recorded for you guys, but I do have a video on how all of that is going and what I learned about our preps, what we did well, and what was definitely missing, so be sure to check that out. Now, this video is brought to you with the help of Blackout Coffee Company, and I absolutely plugged my coffee maker into the generator this morning to make a cup because comforts like that mean a lot in an emergency scenario. Yes, I have jars of instant Folgers, but it is not the same, and that cup of Blackout really just hit the spot. Plus, they are a company that supports channels like mine and the Second Amendment and donate tons of money to your favorite gun rights groups like FPC and GOA. So to help the channel and get some great coffee, tea, or hot chocolate, go to blackoutcoffee.com slash libertydoll. All right, so um, I am going to be sending you videos over mobile hotspot on limited data. So we are not going to be fancy and we are going to be quick. One Florida city tried to pull a Hurricane Katrina ahead of the storm and went ahead and declared a state of emergency before the storm that banned all gun sales, ammo sales, and gun possession in public by anyone besides law enforcement and military. Let me get a resounding f that. Even more so now that I have seen firsthand the chaos that happens in one of these disasters. So, the city of Okeechobee, Florida, adopted an illegal ordinance right before the storm hit. Here is a photo of the ordinance declaring no gun and ammo sales for 24 hours, no displays of guns or ammos in any stores or shops, and no gun possession in a public place. So basically, a ban on gun sales, carrying, and ownership for 24 hours right before a huge storm with the potential to completely ruin areas and leave people unprotected from looting, thieves, and whatever else with the potential to collapse into full lawlessness, like what's being reported in some parts of North Carolina right now, where there are no police to respond to things, or else they're picking and choosing their emergencies, which is exactly what everyone should expect in an emergency. The city is situated right next to a lake, so prime for flooding, and has a population just under 5,500. Now, this ordinance was signed by Donald C. Hagan, the chief of police for the city. And once news of this got around, he and the city absolutely got a letter from Florida Carry Inc. warning them that they'd violated the state's preemption laws and that the ordinance was completely illegal and unconstitutional. Any public official who violates that preemption law can be removed from office and fined up to $5,000, which the statute requires them to pay personally. The organizations threatened legal action if the ordinance was not repealed within 30 days. As a Florida registered nonprofit membership organization representing the interests of defensive weapons and firearms owners who lawfully carry throughout the state, Florida Carry has the necessary standing to initiate legal action regarding this issue to ensure compliance with state law and the cessation of these violations of fundamental civil rights. Millions of Floridians lawfully carry defensive firearms and weapons every day to protect themselves and their families. We will see to it that they do not face a patchwork of regulations which are impossible for them to keep up with as they traverse our great state. General Counsel Eric J. Friday wrote. Friday also demanded the payment of $30,000 in damages and attorney's fees to resolve this matter prior to initiation of litigation. Apparently, the city had used an unrelated statute to pass the ordinance. Now, the statute allows the governor to suspend gun and ammo sales if there is a reason to believe that there exists a clear and present danger of a riot or other general public disorder, widespread disobedience of the law, and substantial injury to persons or to property, all of which constitute an imminent threat to public peace or order and to the general welfare of the jurisdiction affected or a part or parts thereof. But none of that had happened before signing this ordinance, though the statute can go into effect with just a sheriff or other designated official declaring a state of emergency. 
Now, as for it actually being a violation of preemption law, some people are saying it is, some people are saying it isn't, because they didn't actually pass a law. But the statute requires the chaos of the hurricane to already have happened, or rioting, or whatever, which there was none, as we have established. Either way, whichever argument you choose, it is illegal. Sorry, the toddler is, is making rounds <laughs> around looking at all our fallen trees here. <laughs> and according to an update from the FPC, once DeSantis heard about this, he made some phone calls to get the ordinance repealed. I am assuming that the police chief listened to his governor and allegedly DeSantis said that he was going to work on repealing the law that allows this, which it seems dates back to the 70s. After all, it's during an emergency that you need your guns the most. All right, folks, that is it for this video. I've got another one I'm going to try to record. So the outro is going to be quick. You know the drill for all of the algorithm things. Please do them. Please check out today's sponsor. It is super important with the fact that I am otherwise not being able to work. And as always, thank you for tuning in and happy shooting. Please stay safe.